Okay, let's talk about finding the mode. And it's actually pretty easy stuff here. And we have some data. We're actually going to find the mode with this particular data set here. But um, when we're talking about the mode, you're also talking about uh, other concepts called the mean and uh, the median. Okay, so typically, again, when you're studying uh, whether it be in an algebra class or basic math class or statistics class, uh, if you're talking about the mode, well, these other things are coming up as well. So I want to um, discuss all this kind of together very briefly. And I've done uh, other videos on the mean and median. So this is kind of a little mini series. And I'm going to suggest you check out these videos as well. Okay, so we're going to get to uh, uh, the mode in just one second. But first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many, many years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the most robust online math programs anywhere. Okay, So um, I put a lot of effort into um, uh, my math program because it's designed to really, really um, help those of you that are trying to learn math independently. Okay, so All my lessons are complete, comprehensive. They're not little, small, little tutorials. They're full real deal lessons that's designed to really get you to master math. I mean, if your attitude about math is less than, hey, do I want to really learn to master this. If you just want to do quick shortcuts, well, this program is not for you. And most people that struggle with math are looking for shortcuts. I'm going to tell you right now, there are no shortcuts. you got to really apply yourself and learn this stuff. But um, all my lessons are super comprehensive. Also, one of the most frustrating things uh, um, for students is when you do all your practice problems, you just got some basic answer key, and you don't see the solution to get to that answer. That drives everyone crazy. Well, in my program, I have videos uh, that I go through every single problem with the video. Okay, that's like truly unique in terms of programs out there, and that's why it's taken me years and years and years to build out all of my uh, content. But I felt like this was the right thing to do for students. When you see a problem, you want to see how it's solved. That's really truly the way. You're going to learn mathematics. Now, another huge piece of advice when it comes to learning math is your notes. Okay, Those students who have great notes almost generally have great math grades. And those students who have poor notes or no notes or disorganized notes or sloppy notes uh, typically don't do well in math. So you really want to focus in on your note taking. But if your notes are less than what they need to be, okay, one, you got to work on those. But two, you need something for, uh, to study from. So I offer notes, um, and I'm going to leave uh, a link to my math help uh, program and uh, my notes in the description of this video. So those would include uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. So some resources there to help you out in your mathematics uh, journey. All right, let's get to the mode now. Okay, so when we're talking about the mode, so we have the mode, um, and we're all again. I was saying that we're um, kind of have related topics called the mean and uh, median, uh, the median, okay? So so each one of them start with M, okay? And these words can be kind of similar to people. So when you really didn't really, if like I was telling the students, if they didn't really learn this uh, well, they'll confuse the topic. So if I'm saying here's um, some data, I'm just making something up, and I'm saying find the mode or find the mean, the student goes and gives me the median. Okay, well, I'm like, hey, give me the median. They find, they give me the mean. All right, the mode, they'll do something else. Okay, so you know, you really need to make sure you don't confuse these topics. But all of these topics is what we call the measures of central tendency. All right, so you know, we're looking at some raw data and we're trying to decipher something about it. We're trying to measure, like the, you know, what tendency does this data have? You know, is it telling us something? And each one of these. Uh, concepts here give us kind of a clue, some insight into the data. Okay, so we're looking for trends is what we're doing. So we want to know the median, we know that we want to know the mean, we want to know the mode, um, and there's some other stuff as well in a little bit more advanced statistics. Okay, but these are like the foundational kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's get to the mode. And the mode is super easy. Okay, so the mode is one, uh, if it exists, okay? Sometimes, given some data, okay, there's no guarantee that you will have a mode. It's unlike finding the mean or the median, okay? You'll absolutely always have uh, the mean, 
which is the average or the median for every single time. But the mode, it all depends, okay? So the mode is the number that shows up the most, okay? So it's the most frequent number, okay? There are different ways we can kind of say that, but I'm just trying to use easy language. So we have entries, okay, into our data set. So four and one, zero, these are all entries. So what we have to do is to take a look and see which, um, which of any of these numbers show up the most, okay? So we have four. I'm like, okay, four, that just shows up one time. We have a one. I'm like, all right, one. I'm looking for other ones. I'm like, Ooh, oh, here, here's one. Okay, well, one showed up twice. I'm looking at zero. Okay, zero is just one time. This is three, two, seven, nine. All these numbers just showed up uh, once individually, but I have one. Okay, this showed up two times, so one is the mode. It's super easy, and we like when math is easy. It's like, okay, yes, it's easy, but it's easy to confuse too, right? Um, with the, these other concepts of the mean and uh, median. Now, if I had this scenario, okay, we just kind of erase this guy right there, and I said find the mode, you'd be like, okay, there's what, no mode? Should I say that? No mode? Yes, you should. Okay. So we'll keep it easy. There is no number that shows up uh, frequently. So here there is no mode. So that is what the mode is. Pretty straightforward stuff. Okay. So again, you know, I like to use this example of, uh, uh, if you watch my other videos, um, uh, home prices, right? So let's say an XYZ uh, location. All right. The average, everyone's familiar with the average, right? The average home price is $250,000. So I'm like, okay, $250,000, it's right here. So um, what does that tell us? Well, doesn't really tell us a lot, okay? doesn't tell us if um, half the houses are, are greater than $250,000 or half the houses are less than $250,000. Remember, we're talking about the average or the mean, okay? But it does tell us maybe something, right? You kind of get a feel for mm, what's going on. Now, uh, and the reason why I'm talking about this is that because these terms come up frequently. If I told you the median home price is 250000 then yes, half of the homes would be greater than 250000 and half would be less than 250000 So these things mean something, right? Now, what happens here if I... Um, calculated this, all this data here. Well, let's say there was a hundred homes in X, Y, Z. All right. And now we said, what was the mode? Okay. Well, the mode, if there is a mode, let's say the mode was, uh, 230,000. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, there was, that was the number that showed up the most in these houses. Okay. At these hundred homes, there was more than one home, okay, that showed up uh, at 230,000. Okay, so that tells us something. That's a little bit of a clue. Now, we don't know how many times it showed up, but it showed up the most frequently. You'd be like, hmm, maybe that's telling me that, you know, most of the houses are around this range. If I knew that this was the, me if the median was 250 and now the mode is at 230, hmm. Now, I would like to also know some other things about this. Uh, data, okay, and in a more a little bit more advanced statistics, we can get things like the standard deviation and some other stuff. But you know, all this right here, all this data stuff tells us what it's trying to. It's giving us tendencies on information, okay. So the mode probably doesn't show up, um, yeah, at least in kind of I'm gonna say real life statistics. I could be misspeaking, but uh, in common everyday like news. Uh, articles and stuff, the median really shows up a lot. And you got to be careful with the average as well. Okay. So uh, again, you know, the av um, if a home price, the average home price is 250,000, that doesn't mean, doesn't really tell us a lot. Okay. Well, it could mean like uh, all the houses are 250,000. That's what it, I mean, it could tell us that. Okay. But it also could, it can also be like, Hey, this house over here is for 15,000. This is for 20,000. This one's 30,000, and this guy way over here is, I don't know, like uh, 600,000, okay? So I'm not saying this comes up to 250. I'm just kind of making something up. We just don't know. The average or the mean doesn't tell us a lot. And I know this video is about the mode, 
But I want to put this in greater context of why, you know, uh, you need to understand the median, the mean, and the mode, and additional other uh, concepts when you're, uh, you know, learning about this stuff. So obviously, if you're learning about the mode, you're going to be learning about these other things. And the whole idea is for you to, you know, um, apply all these concepts to a data set and draw some conclusions. All right, well, here's a conclusion that I have for you, and that is if you don't practice this stuff, it's not going to stick, okay? So it's important that you practice math. It's really not enough for you to watch these videos. I mean, they're, hopefully they're helpful, and if it was helpful, please consider smashing that like button. That's the whole point of me doing this video for you, but it's going to be more helpful for you by you actually working problems, okay, and seeing how you're doing, you know, with the problems that, you know, you're, you're uh, you know, working on, okay? That's more or less the way I can say it. So if you're not a subscriber, I definitely would invite you to become a subscriber if you like my teaching style. I already have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel organized in various uh, playlists, and I'm posting new stuff all the time. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.